want to talk about fame. 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 Why do people want to be famous? Hmm. I think people who were... Uh, Andy Warhol was very interesting, uh, the concept of fame. <laughs> He videotaped the Empire State Building and called it Superstar. And he got its fame from Andy Warhol. So he was trying to make everything famous. And uh, by projecting his his own mind into the object. This is why as humans, we constantly give uh, things, and animate things, value. Things that have, uh, by in itself, doesn't really have meanings intrinsically. Uh, concepts like money and uh, concepts like... Uh, how expensive and how valuable a, a, a handbag is, which means that if you take away everyone, the part of the everyone's brain that, that associates uh, with money or the meaning of money, and if you take away all consciousness on Earth and still just leave that those pieces of paper that we call money, uh, they wouldn't be a money anymore. They would just be a piece of paper, not better than the trash that I pick up off the floor. So my point is that. Um, uh, mind isn't just in the skull; it's everywhere, right? Everything that you see has a, a certain projection, certain content of our mind. So we sort of, it, it, what we do uh, between ourselves and the world is that we we project our, our mind, our consciousness, into objects that otherwise has no meaning. Yeah, keep that concept in mind when I talk about uh, instead of talking about human in, uh, inserting their minds into object, I'm gonna insert humans inserting their minds into other humans' minds. So. The same basic concept, so that's what I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, when I'm talking about fame. Okay, so fame is the same thing, and people want to be famous because they want to project their own their mind to other people's minds, so that they expand their horizon, they expand their existence. Okay, let me explain that a little bit more. Okay, so people who want to be famous, uh, or people, a lot of people desire to be famous because the more people know you, the the bigger this consciousness is. You know, if we all, we've all exist inside each other. I exist in you, and you exist in me. So we both need each other to exist. If that is the case, then a person's existence is quote unquote bigger. A person's mind is quote unquote bigger. And a person's um, being is bigger because the more people have that person in their minds. So basically, um, you want to infect people's minds. You want to mind fuck, quote unquote mind fuck. You want to infect people's minds so that you continue to exist separately from your own mind. So Quentin Tarantino said that um, he, he, he uh, this, there was a little girl who wrote him a letter and uh, he, uh, she liked Kill Bill so much that she actually wrote another uh, wrote a synopsis and sent it to him. So how this Kill Bill 3 should be like that. So Quentin was very, ha very happy because he thought that he did it. He thought that that story he created evolved in her own mind, so it continued to exist. So his work is greater than, greater than the work itself. If it continues to exist in other people's mind, it continues to grow from more and more people's minds, you know? So this is what separates good art and bad art. Black Swan, Black Swan is a, is a bigger mindfuck than Titanic, which means that Black Swan will most likely grab onto other people's minds tighter. Steep deeper down into the subconscious, right? So that's what I want, you know. If I want to make a movie one day, it's gotta be like Black Swan, even though not a lot of people are gonna see it. The people who do see it has a deeper, grab it tighter. So in that sense, if it exists a longer in a, in a consciousness, for example, if a, a thousand people saw, so Titanic is not even a good example because Titanic actually really grab onto people's minds, right? But a lot of movies don't. A lot of big budget movies don't grab onto people's minds. Maybe Titanic is a bad example. If well, Most blockbusters don't grab people's minds at all. And you, you, if you forget it, as long as you walk out of theater. Where a movie like Black Swan or, or like, you know, what's a good movie? I don't know. Uh, really tightly grabs into your, 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 your head. Then, then if that if Black Swan can exist in twenty people's head, you know, I mean, in twenty people's head for twenty years, where um, so and so action movie can only exist in like the moment you walk out of theater. Darren Aronofsky achieved immortality more so than the other director. You also have to keep in mind how deep this this uh, seat that you're planning other other people's minds are. Like for example, like. Um, Way more people saw Die Hard than Fight Club or Black Swan, right? So, but I, I would almost guarantee you that movies like Black Swan or Fight Club seep into people's 
deeper layer of people's subconscious or the, the minds than a movie like Die Hard, where it's, it, 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 it's infected in a lot of people's minds. It's in a lot of people's minds, but how long can he stay there? Not very long because it's only on the surface. So, like, you know, sometimes it's give and take. You know, usually a lot of those really good movies that really changed people, really in, infected people, really affected people, they really changed the way they think and, and act and feel. Those, those, those movies aren't going to be seen by a lot of people because number one most people don't want to be my fuck like that because most people don't want to think they want they don't, they don't want to make a change they just want to sit there be mindless and feel good about what they already know so it's almost like a give and take would you rather like i would rather be like a darren aronofsky where i make movies that you know really grab onto the minds but not seen by that many or a david lynch then someone you know who like or michael bay who in, you know, a lot of people's minds have transformers, but how deep can that transform? Like, how deep can that go, right? So vertical and horizontal. Like, I would rather be quote unquote famous vertically. Right? I'd rather infect fewer people, but you know, really affect them deeply. Other than like, you know, just you know, having people having me my movie in their minds and they just forget about it when they walk out of the theater, when they think about it every like ten years. Every, okay, but doesn't they don't dream about it? They don't really ponder it. It doesn't evolve in their brain. It doesn't continue to exist, right, in their own brain. Just, you know. So I was, so, you know, I was thinking about this when I was watching, uh, I was uh, perform, uh, listening to a performance. I went to Kennedy Center and listened to a performance by an opera singer. And I was just thinking the whole time, she's fucking naked in the sense that all those people on the stage, um, all those people sitting down in the audience, not the stage, the audience, they all, they're all thinking about her, judging her. Some of them might think she fucking sucks. In which, in that person's mind, she fucking sucks. No matter how good the other person thinks she is, in that person's mind, she fucking sucks. That means a part of her really fucking sucks. So, you're judged by so many people, like standing out on the stage. How do you feel about that? How do you feel... It's pretty much all the people are pretty much, you know, uh, raping your mind as you rape theirs. So it's like it's like having sex with minds, right? When I stand on the stage and try to play my violin, if 2,000 people stare at me, they're mind-fucking me. Because I, I could be fucked up in their minds. I could be the worst player. They could have imagined cutting my arms off in their minds. So, but at the same time, I'm, I'm fucking their minds. I'm try at least I'm trying to. It's like this constant battle, Right? So this is the constant battle between who is mind is fucked, who dominates the other. And this is why it hurts so much when people don't like you, people uh, reject you. And because if, like I said a million times, uh, your ego, a part of who you are, the concept of a, a person isn't just embedded you know, in the skin, in a container, a physical container, <laughs> container, but it's spread all over other people's minds. If that's the case, then if people hate me, if people talk shit about me, Think of all the things that people are doing to me inside their minds, right? If you hate someone, you, you do the most horrible things to them in your, in your mind. You, you rape them, you chop their arms off, you kick them, you want to hit them. You, you Sometimes you're even dead in their minds, right? So in that sense, a part of me, a, good, a big part of me, if a lot of people hate me, are being beat up, right? And if you th think about it, what distinguishes between me, the concept of Frankie, as it exists, you know, in, in me, uh, the representation of Frankie in my mind is just uh, a certain uh, configuration, certain, um, uh, a certain neural uh, configuration, you know what I'm saying? A certain, uh, for example, like I, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking about right now, right now, in, in my mind, I'm thinking about Frankie, okay? I'm thinking about Frankie, okay? There's a certain neural, like, re representation of Frankie, um, certain uh, neurons fire when I think of Frank King, right? And it makes up a certain shape, a map, so to speak. A map represents Frank King. That's all there too is to the to, to, to Frank King because my body, my biceps, and, you know, which part of me is really me, right? And when I think about it, um, to, to myself, to me, my ego is nothing but a map of who I think I am. And and you, in your brain, you have a map of, another map of Frank King. And, and what, what I'm trying to say is that what, sort of difference does it make that when I, the, the, or, or between the, my map and your map? Exactly. The, my point is that they're both made up of just neural maps. And if that's the case, then 
the, 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 the your representation of Frank Yang, your neural map is as real as important as my map. Of course, my map can influence you. If I strip naked and start, you know, shaking my my dick, that's gonna influence how you, the the Frank inside your brain. You're gonna think that. That, that little freak inside your brain is a pervert. You know, they, they both influence each other. But what I'm saying is that this difference is the difference in, 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 deg in degree, not of kind, right? So, so there are just, you know, two slightly different representations, two slightly different neural maps, but intrinsically, they're the same. So that's why people want everyone to like them because people want all their all the representation, all the map of, of of themselves inside other people's brain to be taken care of, you know, you know, to be, oh yeah, you know, to to to, to soothe that person. Like if if, I, if everyone, everyone loves Rihanna, everyone is like, you know, touching her in their minds. Everyone is, in, you know, hugging her. Wrap it up to the the concept of fame is really all just about planting your ego in other people's minds. So expand your being so that they continue to exist in other people. So their existence become bigger if you can you know make people house you right? try to live in as many brains as possible then you know after you die you really do continue to exist